Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. The Shadow of a God by Dirty Ripped Paper Chapter 14, A Battle of Countries. My father was back. The man I'd been waiting for for more than a decade is back now. Jin Wu, he called out to me. I meekly walked towards him. It's been over a decade, can we still be the same? Can I still act like his son? He pulled me in for an embrace, caressing the back of my head. You've grown into a great guy, my son. Tears started to flow down my face. I just got my mother back, now my father's back too. Is the universe finally on my side? I don't want them to disappear again. I'll grow even stronger just so I can protect them. Open hollow corner bracket. Close hollow corner bracket I opened the door of Rimuru's room and saw her, laying on her sofa. Oh, Jin Wu. Why are you here? She stood up and walked towards me. I went in for a hug. I wanted to be comforted by her. I wanted her to touch me as she soothed my worries. Jin Wu? What's the matter? She grasped the back of my body. I finally broke off from the embrace and spoke, my father is back. Her eyes lit up at my words. Seriously? She led me to the sofa and sat me down, letting me explain all that apparently happened. Whoa. Ten years in a red gate sounds so long, strangely enough, he says he doesn't remember anything that happened in it. The doctors say it might be trauma-induced. Her eyes started to dart to each corner in the room. It felt like she was hiding something, but what does she have to hide? Never mind that. I'm glad your dad's back home. Now your family is just one big happy family, she congratulated me. Me too. I heard a ring from Rimuru's phone. Who is this? Rimuru was clearly irritated. She picked up the call. Hunter Rimuru Tempest, this is the association's go gun he. As Rimuru heard him introduce himself, she put the call on speaker. Maybe it's something that could concern you, she reasoned. So, what's the problem? She asked. I'm sure you've heard the news. She tilted her head in confusion. What news? Have you not seen the news yet? Rimuru's eyes kept darting around the area. She was trying to think of any news that she happened to see. Is it? The ants? She asked. Yes. Is it okay for me to come over and explain the situation in person? He asked. No I'll go to you. I'm assuming Jin Wu is also needed, so I'll take him along. She hung up. The raid will begin in four days. We'll go to Jiju Island and eliminate those ants once and for all. And for us to do that, we need Hunter Rimuru Tempest's help along with Hunter Sung Jin Wu's help, Go Gun He stated. Hmm. Rimuru was thinking about it. All of the citizens wish for the recapture of Jiju Island. Could you join us in this cooperation? He added. It's an obvious yes. If it had been just my mom alone, then I wouldn't accept. But my dad is here now. The only thing they need is each other. That's why I have to go. I. A wave of magical energy suddenly shot through me. Go Gun He noticed my face. Is there something wrong? There seems to be hunters fighting somewhere nearby, Rimuru and I said in unison. Go Gun He looked pleased. You two have a keen sense, as expected. Even at this distance, you detected it. S rank hunters are currently warming up at the gym, perhaps that's what you felt. S rank hunters. What a surprise. Yes since there are only four days left until the Jiju Island raid. Ryuji Gotu and his Japanese S-rank hunters are there too, he replied. Rimuru's ears perked at the mention of Ryuji Gotu. Are all of his S-rank hunters present? She asked. Oh, no all except three. By Ryuji Gotu, do you mean, I heard of him before? I'm sure even a normal citizen has heard the name of Japan's strongest. Do you wish to check it out? I watched the battle between Baek Yoon Ho and Ma Dong Wook. It's uncommon for for all the S rank hunters to gather in one place. The magical energy you sensed earlier is probably from them, Go Gun He said. Hunter Baek Yoon Ho is getting pushed back. Rimuru observed the fight. Yes, yes. Though, if Baek Yoon Ho were to give it his all, Ma Dong Wook wouldn't stand a chance. A man walked towards us. Choi Jong In. Rimuru mumbled. It's been a while, Hunter Sung Jin Wu, and Hunter Rimuru Tempest, he greeted us. You said Baek Yoon Ho wasn't giving it his all, 
but why would he hide his strength when Ma Dong Wook isn't an opponent to take lightly? I was confused. It's hard to use your full strength when people are watching, Rimuru replied. I guess that's true. Since President Beck turns into a real monster when he fights, it's even harder for him, Choi Jong in added. So the rumors of his transformation ability are true. I directed my eyes to a group of people at the side. The people gathered over there must be Ryuji Gotu and the Japanese S rank hunters. Rimuru stared. She turned to face Go Gun He. Has Mikami Satoru agreed to join the raid? Yes. What is your. Before he could finish his sentence, Rimuru teleported to them. Go Gun He and Choi Jong in gawked at the sight. It'd be a lie if I said I wasn't in awe either. To teleport over something so trivial. I wonder how much time she has as a cooldown. Or if she even has a cooldown. Even from afar, I can see what's happening over there. I see that Mikami Satoru and Rimuru Tempest are acquainted with each other. They seem to be conversing quite nicely. I can't hear them from this distance, but even if I were near, I wouldn't be able to understand since it's in Japanese. Hi, Satoru. I greeted him. Oh, hello, Rimuru. He smiled. On a first name basis now, are we? Can I as well? Go to Ryuji approached us. No, I flat out told him. He gave a frown as a response. What brings you here? I've heard so much about you. A young girl enthusiastically shook hands with me. I just came to visit Satoru. And since we'll be together on the raid, why not strike up a conversation? I don't think I've met with anybody here other than Satoru and Giyoto Ryuji. I scratched my head. You're quite a pretty girl, another girl intruded. Thank you. I gave a bright smile. It looked like she was gonna say something but was stopped by my smile. Instead, she shut her mouth and gained a pink tint on her cheeks. Giyoto Ryuji cleared his throat, why not converse with the Korean hunters instead? Or perhaps are you planning to come back? Absolutely not. I crossed my arms. Then why? Satoru tilted his head. I kinda just missed speaking Japanese. I admit, there are times I miss the place, but not so much to call it my home. Giyoto Ryuji sighed before staring at Jin Wu, who was overlooking us. He must be a pretty talented assassin, I raised my brow. He's a mage type, I corrected him. No way, he couldn't believe it. K, that hunter is Korea's 11th S rank hunter. Someone bumped the shoulder of the guy beside them. Ishida, don't talk to me. I feel like throwing up from all the S ranks around here. His smell must be sensitive, like Cha Hei Inns. He seemed to be interested in me, probably because he's approaching right now. I looked to the side. Maybe if I look uninterested, he'll leave. Ha ha. Hey, he greeted me. I waved. You're Japanese, right? Yes, I am. After hearing my voice, he started blushing. Holy shit, man. So, uh, why'd you move to Korea? I was about to answer before being interrupted by Satoru. K, I believe Rimuru is feeling uncomfortable because of you, thank you. And did she tell you that, Mikami? K was irritated. You can see it clear as day on her face, he held K's wrists. Who's stronger between them two? As you know, Giyoto Ryuji is the strongest human in Japan. Mikami Satoru is stronger than him, although unbeknownst to most people. He is more thought to be on par with Ryuji. Ah. I see. It's like a case of the manga protagonist not really showcasing their full powers. Oh, kinda like my situation. Yes, yes. You too, don't cause a scene here. Giyoto Ryuji took Satoru's hand off of Kei's wrists. Oh. It left a mark. It's nice to see Satoru living a life he wanted, if you don't count my life. Apparently this is Korea's top. There is no need to see more. Is that Gyoto's assistant? Or translator? Is that so? He answered. I've seen how Godu San raids over your shoulder. It's possible you're not classified as an S rank anymore. That's not always the case. He looked at me in a Cha Hei Inn. There seems to be at least two useful hunters that reside in Korea. I smiled. Three, just to correct you. Jin Wu is a formidable foe as well. He chuckled, we'll see. A man approached Gyoto's translator. Translator, what did he just say? Korean hunters aren't good? Ha, huh? did you think I couldn't understand Japanese? In high school, that was my second language. Who is this Rondo? 
Of course, since it's big bro, strangely, he reminds me of Gabiru and his minions. The translator let out a giggle before responding. Who even are you? The two men that approached her was clearly baffled. This person here is Gisaden Guild's guildmaster, Boss Park Jong Su. Ah, I think I've heard that before, I chimed in. Oh, well, I haven't heard of him. Big Bro isn't an S rank but a rank, so you might have not heard of him. However, our Gisaden Guild is one of Korea's top five guilds. We've recruited far more A ranks than any other guild, he hissed. Park Jong Su told the man to stop. Korea's a rank hunter. Are you also participating in the Jeju Island raid? I heard only S ranks were participating. The two men were sweating. Big Bro is in the defense group. He's taken the important role of containing Jejudo. Ha! Huh. That's a relief. We can't leave a bigger role to an A rank, she laughed. What would a translator that follows someone else all the time know about it? Do you want to confirm it? These two are getting feisty. If they were to fight, it wouldn't really be entertaining. They're only a rank, after all. I'm Japan's A rank hunter, Hanakawa. There's no way you'd lose to a hunter that only tagged along for translation, right? She taunted. Hey there, translator. There should be a limit to how much underestimating you can do. Are you perhaps a non combat role hunter? I can clearly see Park Jong Su getting irritated. A fight between a Japanese A ranker and a Korean A ranker. I wonder if it'll turn out interesting. I talked to Satoru. Perhaps, but not as interesting as a fight between S rankers would be, he replied. I nodded in agreement. The two began fighting, but it's not something of interest. The fight ended rather quick. I mean, it's just a fight between A rankers. I shrugged. That was uneventful, Giyoto Ryuji talked to me. You seem to still want to talk to me even after calling me a traitor, I wondered. He laughed, you are indeed a traitor. You wield your katana in service to Korea. But, even then, you are still a valuable hunter. I gave him a weirded out look. Giyoto Ryuji approached his translator. His translator repeated his words in Korean, to deepen our trusts with each other, I have something to offer. With the same rules as just now, how about dueling us? A fight between the S rank hunters, she shouted in direction to the Korean hunters. A fight between S rank hunters, that'll be interesting. Go Gun He with Jin Woo by his side approached, let's add some more rules too. Other than wrist, touching the back is a win, knocking the opponent over is a win too, Baek Yoon Ho added. The match isn't a one on one, it should be as a group, I suggested. The translator relayed all our conditions to Giyoto Ryuji, to which he accepted. Korean side, there's Hunter Baek Yoon Ho, Hunter Ma Dong Wook, Hunter Cha Hae In, and Hunter IMTAEQ. These four hunters will fight. On the Japanese side is Hunter Tanaka Kenjo, Hoshino Minoru, Kumamoto Atsushi, and Tawada Kanae. Satoru and I looked at them in confusion. Why am I not included? I asked. Me as well. I believe it to be unfair since we all know you two are in a different level, Giyoto answered. Satoru and I looked at each other. Then, why not have us fight each other instead? He concluded. A fight with yourself. I don't see why not, I agreed. Giyoto sighed, then you two should fight after them. I shrugged. I saw Jin Wu from the side. Jin Wu, come over here. I yelled at him, to which he obliged. Is he your friend? Satoru asked. He is, I replied. So, what type of hunter are you? I wasn't sure if Satoru would be a mage type like me or something else. I'm a mage type. You are as well, right? You're quite famous in Japan. Am I perhaps infamous because I'm a Japanese hunter working for Korea? Ha! Huh. I wonder if I receive a large amount of backlash there. No quite the opposite. The Japanese civilians love you, it's only the hunters that seem to have a grudge against you. The civilians praise you for extending your help towards a small Asian country with only a few strong hunters. Oh. I see. So I must be some type of savior, huh? Jin Wu stood beside me and spoke. You seem to be quite friendly with hunter Mikami Satoru. Were you two friends before you moved here? No I met him once before. I think it was, about three days ago. He looked baffled. You two are already friendly with each other despite only meeting, three days ago. I only gave a smile in response. I averted my eyes back to the fight. 
Only two of the Korean hunters are remaining, Cha Hae-in and Baek Yoon-ho. Baek is struggling with two Japanese hunters while Cha Hae-in managed to get one out. Cha is on a different level from these S-rankers. I'm excited for their fight to end, Satoru told me. Why would you be excited? I'd get to fight you, he grinned. Does this fool thinks he stands a chance? But, I'm also looking forward to it. I shook his hand. May the better win but something about what Seal said kept tugging at my mind. Gyoto Ryuji and Mikami Satoru are the strongest, humans, in Japan. I spoke, hey, Satoru, who's the strongest hunter in Japan right now? He blinked, not sure why I was interested. Japan has two pillars. Only one of them is needed to exterminate a country. Ah, forgive me. I meant countries. Multiple countries? How long would it take for them? Give them a day and they'd be able to destroy it to ashes. The two pillars of Japan, E.H., first time I've heard of it. I asked him, are the two pillars of Japan public knowledge? Cause this is the first time I've heard of it. Well, not really I suppose. The two pillars only appeared two and a half years ago, yet they've made this much of an impact on Japan. They didn't want their identity to be made public, so that must be why you don't know of them. He added. Though that'll change this Jiju Island raid. My ears perked up. They'll make their identity public this raid? Are they here now? I started looking around the room. He was about to answer, but then a strange feeling overcame me. I sensed something wrong with the fight. That bloodlust is way too strong for this type of fight. I looked, and saw an attempt to kill. Hey! Satoru yelled at the Japanese hunter who had intent to kill. Jin Wu moved in a hurry to stop it. It's just a competition, but your bloodlust is a little too much. I hope you don't mind me stepping in. He held the opponent's wrist. You bastard. He was about to attack, but was pushed on the floor by Jin Wu. That Jin Wu guy is amazing. Satoru looked in awe. If the Korean hunter Jin Wu is that amazing, he directed his eyes to me. Then I wonder how amazing you are. I see he wanted to fight me. I consider Mikami Satoru and I as two separate people, though if you really think about it, we are technically one and the same. So of course we'd share the same traits, we basically have the same personality. Just like me, he too wants to know the full scope of my powers. He's trying to analyze my whole being, then, shall we? I took his hand. All the Korean and Japanese hunters looked at us. Goju Ryuji smiled at the sight as he whispered something to the translator. Japanese hunter Mikami Satoru will have a fight with Japanese no. Korean hunter Rimuru Tempest. The translator shouted out for all to hear. She slipped up. I mumbled. I mean, I am really a Japanese, at least in this world, person. But the country I'm currently serving is Korea, so I would be addressed as such. Mikami Satoru and I went to the middle of the arena. I'll fight only on one condition, he voiced out. Only if Hunter Rimuru Tempest fights me with her full strength. As he said that, the translator repeated it but in Korean. Even the likes of him wouldn't be able to withstand my full strength. In full truth, no one would be able to, not a single soul. But I'll entertain him, if it's you, why not? Since we have our S rank healer, Shimizu, nobody will get seriously injured. Satoru pointed at the kid from earlier. You'll be needing her, I taunted. So that's the 10th S rank hunter. It's insane how she's having a fight with Mikami Satoru, someone who can be said to be on par with Gyoto Ryuji. Something about this is making me excited. I could hear the Korean hunters chatting amongst themselves. Who wouldn't be thrilled for a fight like this? The strongest hunter in Japan, battling the newly discovered S rank of Korea. Mikami Satoru took on a fighting stance to which I followed. I took a glance at his choice of weapon. It's a katana, just like my own. Though, for this fight, we'll refrain from using weapons. I threw my katana at the side of the arena. I can't use a weapon if I can't do any damage to him. He followed me. Let's get started. He took the liberty of doing the first move and closed the gap between us in a split second. Whoa, he's strong. Weaker than me, but he's definitely strong. A strong gust of wind blew at me, causing me to fall back, almost stepping out of bounds. You're strong, I complimented him. Thank you, he put up a barrier around me. The rules to win the fight are, touching the wrist, touching the back, and knocking the opponent over is a win too. 
So, if he were to trap me in a barrier, that must mean this barrier has to have some sort of property that weakens the trapped person's magical ability. By weakening my ability, I would be vulnerable, letting him do any of those that would make him win. I can certainly feel its effects, but, I put my palm to the barrier. Satoru was approaching, yet he had this realization and faltered. The barrier shattered as I held my palm to it. Shishi destroyed Satoru's barrier? Even Giyoto himself was surprised. That must mean that Satoru's barrier was one of his best skills, if not, the best. Satoru himself was surprised, he gritted his teeth. You. You're no ordinary person, huh? I'm an S rank. Of course I'm not ordinary, I smiled. It's gonna be hard to fight against him. Most of my abilities are for, well, killing. I can't kill him. I groaned as I was thinking about it. Satoru took it as an opportunity to lay another attack on me. This time it was fire magic. He enveloped me in a wall of fire. Hey, isn't this to kill? That's unfair. Stay still, or you'll get burnt. Even I wouldn't want your precious face to get burnt. He spoke as he waited outside the wall of fire. Right. Satoru liked pre faces. I mean, even I like them, of course, but I guess my adoration for pre faces died down during the centuries I lived. You really think you'll get burnt by a lousy fire like this? I passed through the wall of fire. All of the people present in the arena were shocked by the sight of me passing through fire, without a single burn. My characteristics as a slime were brought back after that incident upon entering this world where I accidentally drowned. So it wouldn't be a surprise that they're, uh, surprised about my elemental resistance. Currently I'm not wearing any armor, so it should be impossible. But I'm Rimuru Tempest. H how, Satoru yelled. You're flustered. I closed the gap between us and I held his wrist. I am the victor. Jin Wu approached me and put his arm around my shoulder. Congratulations, Rimuru. He smiled, he's bending a lot. We used to be almost the same height. Sung Jin Wu is currently 6 feet 2 feet, whereas you are. 5 feet 4 featuring, he he. Seal was giggling. You're really tall. I realized that if I had to look at Jin Wu in the eye while standing, I had to tilt my head up by a lot. Jin Wu chuckled at the sight with a slight pink flush to his cheeks. At times like this, he really is cool. It was evident from the start that it was your win, Rimuru. The fight did excite me. I even put out my best skills, but you didn't even have to do much and it was still your win. Satoru shook my hand. It was pleasant for me as well, Satoru, I giggled. His face suddenly turned as red as a rose. If it's alright with you. Let's be friends, he suggested. Sure, I replied. I used to be ashamed of Satoru, he didn't really lead an eventful life. But now he's blossoming. I'm glad I was technically the reason for it. That time Mikami Satoru went to me so that I could help the Japanese. What even will happen to them? A knock was heard. I opened the door of my apartment and there I saw Mikami Satoru standing in front of me. I beg of you to help the Japanese. Ah, uh, his first visit was about this as well. Ha? Huh? We both know you're capable of helping the Japanese. As you may know, the majority of us will perish. He wants to protect his own. How do you know I'd be able to help them? Because you are way more of a manga protagonist than I am, he grinned. Ah, uh, I forgot. Mikami Satoru is indeed an otaku. We'll see if you'll even need my help. Jin Wu is going to the raid, so I'm not sure I'm necessary, I told him. He widened his eyes. J. Jin Wu will be joining the raid. From the very start, that is different from the events I foresaw, but even those three pillars, and you are different. Jin Wu wasn't supposed to go on the raid? Min Byung Gyu was supposed to die? Damn. Looks like bringing back Jin Wu's dad changed a lot of these events. But I am quite curious of those two pillars. I asked, are the two pillars you speak of going to the raid? He answered, yes. Though they will only be deployed if the situation was grave. The two pillars. For some reason, I'm getting a bad feeling about them. Imagine they're my patrons, ah ha ha. Are they? 